Hey Earthlings and welcome back to my channel. My name's Jessie. That's Alan behind the painting and uh, this is Cloud Shadow TV. Today I'm going to be showing you my top 10 favorite things that I bought in 2022. So let's just get straight into it. So the first thing I wanted to share with you is this tequila. So I actually did get the bigger version but I don't have the bottle anymore but I did find this to at least have to show you but I'll overlay a picture of what the big bottle looks like. This was the Chihuahua Reposado and it is a company made by women, run by women where the tequila is made by women and it is made in Ecuador. I actually know that Hencho <laughs> in Ecuador means made in Ecuador because there's this popular hat in LA that says Hencho in Venice and that means made in Venice. I wish I knew more Spanish. Unfortunately in high school I decided to take German because we could learn German through acting and I thought that that would be fun and also like don't get any weird ideas. I was raised Jewish. Um, nothing against German people. This is a touchy subject. I just don't want you to think I'm weird for trying to take German in high school. But anyways, I don't know Spanish. Now that I live in LA, I've picked up on a little bit more, but by no means do I know Spanish. So this is a Reposado tequila. It's 100% agave. And like I said, it's made by women, which I love. The tequila tasted good. It was strong. It actually worked good in mixed drinks too. And I just really, really enjoyed this. The website on the bottle says andeanagave.com. So A N. Dean, D-E-A-N, agave, A-G-A-V-E, dot com. Good stuff, people, but only if you're over 21 in America. Next up, this one just kind of random, but I do really, really like it. This is my kaleidoscope. It's pretty cool. Ooh, looking at the lights through it is trippy. I don't know if that's good for my eyes, but it is, <laughs> they feel fine. It is really pretty. It's handmade. It is made by an artist who, unfortunately, I don't know their name. I bought it at a shop in Big Bear. It was a crystal shop. If you go there ever, it was in the little town center at the top of the hill and to the left. I don't remember the shop's name though, but very cute handmade kaleidoscope. I got some as gifts for other people too and like they're they're all a little bit different when you look through. Okay, let me let me try to give the camera a little view. I don't think this is going to work, but maybe I look really trippy or maybe I just accidentally touch the lens. All right, I guess we got to move on. But that is my kaleidoscope. Super fun. Next up, I've been using this Rizzo's Curls spray. It smells really good. It's a volumizing hairspray and that's something that I have trouble with when I wear my hair down. I found that this gives me the most volume out of pretty much everything I've tried. I don't think it's going to do anything because um, most of my hair is pulled back, but that's how it comes out. It smells really good and uh, just gives you that little zhuzh that you need. So next up, let's move on to the shoes set portion of this uh, video because I do love shoes. I have my Nike Dunks that I wear all the time. So they're a little bit dirty. I do have stuff to clean them. I'll do it soon. But I honestly, I wear them so much that it's like they're just going to get dirty again. They've kind of become one of those shoes for me, even though they're like really nice and cute. But I could clean them up. I've done it before and make them look all nice and fresh. But yeah, these are some of my favorite shoes. I can wear them all day. They're comfy. They match a lot of things because it's a pale pink. I wear it with a lot of browns, but it also looks good with jeans. And so I'm a big fan of these shoes. They got cute pink laces as well. Those I definitely need to wash, but I don't want them to fray. If anyone has any tricks for how to wash your laces without them getting all frayed up, let me know. Next up, I have these Steve Madden pink Barbie heels that are so fun. I've worn these to like a lot of occasions. As you can see, they're pretty scuffed up. These ones I wouldn't wear without cleaning them before. The last time I wore them, I believe, was actually when I went to the Santa Fe Independent Film Festival. One of my films I directed was in there. It was a really fun experience. I wore them like with a dress. It was a cute red like Marilyn Monroe style dress. Um, and I wore them, but there was a lot of walking around to be done. And Santa Fe is beautiful and very clean, but still is like walking around all day. And they just got scuffed up and I have not worn them or cleaned them since. So I need to do that. But I did wear these on a lot of different occasions. Um, 
I feel like you can kind of dress them up, dress them clubby, and you can dress them kind of more formal. They're fun. Next up here we have my neck pillow. Okay, I know this is kind of random, but this is such a good upgrade from the one I had before it. Okay, wait, pause for ASMR. <laughs> I mean, can you hear those beads? They they're just so comfy and they like conform to your head and your neck and they just feel so good and freeing. Before I had a memory foam neck pillow, which like in theory seems like it would be really nice, but in reality was terrible and like weather affected it too much. It would get hard if it was cold and like too soft if it was warm. And if it was stiff, it was like so uncomfortable to put my head on and just ended up feeling like an extra piece of luggage I had to lug around. So getting this was a huge upgrade and definitely one of my favorite things that I got in 2022. Also, I read on the plane a lot and it's light so I can still wear it while I read on the plane, kind of turn my head as I'm turning the pages. It's a luxurious experience, really. I should try it at home. I probably won't. You can also do this if you want to, but it makes me feel a little claustrophobic not a fan this might be my favorite i decided not to do it in any like particular order but this might be my number one favorite i got the fenty beauty match six Ooh la la so cute the three that i bought and i'm wearing them right now i wear them all the time they're super blendable and i like the color options um what i use is the amber for contour Again, I'm currently wearing it. The, whoop, knocked them over. The, the Champagne Heist for my highlight. And, and then Yacht Life for my blush. So very fun names, very pretty colors. Um, I'm not only wearing those, I'm also wearing liquid foundation, powder foundation, mascara, eyeshadow, lipstick. And I think that's it. Um, I'm not trying to lie if I forgot anything. But these are a staple to my makeup routine. Pretty much in all my videos, I'm wearing them. I love them. I would recommend them to anyone because they have so many options of shades. Super awesome. Love Rihanna's company. Shout out to Rihanna. Okay, a lot of you will get this and a lot of you will think I'm a weirdo. But this is one of my absolute favorite things that I bought in 22. This is meteorite dust. What? So, special moment. I'm taking it out of the bag. Look at this thing. I'm going to try to spin around and see if you can see it, the sparkles. But this gets me so excited. I mean, this came from space and now it's in my house, which is just, you know, kind of crazy. Let me read to you a little bit about it. It's called Sarah Chow or Saracho. It was found in 2016 in Kenya, Africa. It is a palisite and Saracho is classified as a stony iron palisite. The type of meteorite has olivine crystals that are embedded in a nickel iron matrix. In 2016, a pair of brothers stumbled upon the meteorite while searching for their lost camels. Camel herders have known about these strange rocks for decades before they were determined as meteorites. So, Pretty cool. I don't know. Maybe I'm the only one who thinks it's cool. I bought it thinking I might do some sort of like art piece with it, which I still might do, but I really enjoy having it and I don't really want to take it out of the jar. I might be a little bit of a collector. We're going to call it a collector. And then second to last, I have this winter coat, which I absolutely adore. I'm not going to zip it up because it's already kind of hot under these lights, but I wore it skiing. It kept me warm the whole time I was in Big Bear. It snowed, I had snowball fights, I walked a mile in the snow to town, which is actually true. And uh, I was warm and fine. And I had like a scarf on, this, probably like a sweatshirt, a t-shirt, pants, and uh, socks and boots. This baby did the trick. And look at this hood. It's so big and luxurious. I just absolutely love it. I found this coat at Nordstrom Rack. Let me take it off so I can give you guys some more information. Also, just look at this. Oh, the inside is so nice and 
soft and silky and just feels nice on your body. Um, the brand is Laundry by Shelly Siegel, Los Angeles, and it was made in Vietnam. I just really, really, really love this coat. It was originally $300 and I got it on sale for $100, so we love a sale. Last but not least, we have my 10th favorite thing that I got in 2022, which is this painting that Alan has so graciously been holding up for us. Thank you, Alan. This is a painting by Erica J. Collins. I bought it at Ghost Ranch in New Mexico. I actually stayed there for an Austin Film Festival writer's retreat. And this just reminds me of all the friends and like inspiration that I had on this trip. And I did a hike where I hiked to see this exact view. So it's just a nice reminder. And I actually keep it on top of my vision board. So that's why it's a little bit dusty. But it encapsulates like a lot of what I want for my future. And I really love this painting. So it's one of my favorite things that I bought in 2022. Alan, would you mind holding it again? Thanks. I have one, kind of two honorary mentions, which is two items that I bought from Seek Discomfort. I got these shorts and I got this hoodie. I wear them all the time. I'm filming this on a Tuesday and I usually do my laundry on Wednesdays. So, so they're in the laundry because I wear them all the time and I love them so much, but uh, they're dirty so I didn't want to put them in this video. So that is why they get an honorary mention. Thank you so much for watching this video. My name is Jessie. This is Cloud Shadow TV. Uh, drop a comment of your favorite thing that you bought in 22. And if you have any of these things, let me know what you think of them. If this is your first time here, it'd be awesome if you subscribed. Give me a like and uh, I'll see you next time. Peace out, Earthlings.